Hey guys, welcome back to 3D Japan, and I'm Phil, and today I'm starting a new series that I like to call Celebrating the Artist. Uh, this time we're going to be celebrating the artist Natalie Cheeseman from Australia, uh, or also known as 3D Print Bunny. And so what I'm doing is taking a bunch of uh, the artwork that she has done and printing it, and I'm going to show you what I printed. Okay, so the first thing I've got from her is that she's made these really cool optical illusion coasters. She's got a whole set of these with different illusions, including a little box that you can print to store them in. And I think it's really cool. Uh, this was done uh, by printing the gold first. That is some of this uh, Matter Hackers, uh, is this uh, silky yellow, they actually call this and printed that first and then paused the printer and swapped out to some of this uh, this is uh, Jesse PLA Blue Moon and I think it looks gorgeous okay next thing I've got is this Arabic style lantern which is really beautiful with these delicate, intricate details that all printed out perfectly. And the coolest thing about this is it opens up and inside you can put a little LED tea light. Let's turn that on. These particular lights are difficult to get on. <laughs> See? My bottom screws back on and my light flickers like a candle, but I think that looks really cool, especially in the dark. Let's turn the lights off and look at it in the dark, see how it looks. All right, next up is this ornate bowl. This was done, uh, this is the small version uh, there's two different versions of it. This one I specifically went with because it prints without supports. And it has, again, really great tiny intricate details. This was printed in Polymaker's Silk Magenta. And these, these were all done on the Ender 3 V2. Uh, looks beautiful. Finally, we have this really cool uh, little bird cage that hangs with the birds inside. That's uh, really nice. This prints in several parts. Let's take the stand off. Now the stand printed in several uh, two parts, uh, flat, uh, and then these. I think this is supposed to snap together, but I actually use a little glue to hold it together. We'll set that there and then the bird cage prints in two parts there's the cage itself and the base with the birds so this uh set this down this cage kind of prints without supports uh i do recommend using them though because as it's printing up my nozzle kept knocking against the sides and it would bend them way over which caused the other sides to actually break and but then it would kind of go back together and so even though it kind of looked all right i still just put a little bit of gloop in there anyway so and then the birds i of course printed in the same material on the bottom but then just as the birds started, I swapped over to a different one, which I think looks amazing. Oh, got a few strings in there, but it, it looks great. So, um, okay, the cage was printed with this Polymaker Gold. And then 
And the base was with this silver from Longer 3D. Put this back on there. And the birds were printed with this uh, silky rainbow material. I can never remember their name, the company's name, or how to pronounce it, but they sent me this spool for free to review. And uh, I have shown this spool before, but um, uh, yeah, I'll put their name on screen here somewhere. Uh, you can get that from Amazon. Um, yeah, this is all of these came out really good and she has so many other amazing prints on all up on thangs.com and as far as I know they're all free to download so if you want to download any of these or check out any of her others I will have links in the description below so if you liked this video and you want to see more of these kind of uh, celebrating the artist videos feel free to leave a comment below and let me know like the video, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.